Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for our cash tag segment. For that, let's bring in Andy Swan. He's a co-founder at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. <coughs> Thank uh, you. All right, Andy, so we're talking Celsius uh, Holdings. They reported earnings last week. The stock has spiked to all-time highs. Pretty good report. Their growth just continues to expand. It seems like either they're taking market share or this whole segment as a whole is growing. Do you have data to back up these uh, astronomical moves that we've seen in this stock? Yeah, I'd say, you know, instead of an or question, it's more of an and question. I think Celsius is taking market share in a rapidly growing market of energy drinks. And, you know, this is a stock that we've been bullish on for about a year at Likefolio. The stock's up 187 uh, percent since we got in. And, and really, we feel like this could just be the beginning because this is a company that is executing at a very high level uh, with really nice operating margins and, and profits on the side you know of growth and and they've got international expansion that they could tap into i think they're starting to get their good partnerships but when we look at like folio data there's really nothing to complain about you know consumer happiness levels when compared to peers are higher um, you know, something that we always want to see is as a company grows, is it starting to disappoint consumers with the quality of the product? The answer there is a resounding no. Uh, they are definitely keeping their customers happy. More importantly is the demand growth that we're seeing. You know, when we look at web visits, which is generally, you know, in the case of something like Celsius, people checking out the product, they're doing their research on the ingredients, they're doing their research on how people like it. Um, that is up 37% year over year, can, right there with Monster Energy and, and putting others, you know, in the rear view mirror in a big way. And so uh, every metric we have, consumer happiness, web visits, total social mentions, all of that is up and to the right. We think Celsius is a phenomenal brand in a very, very strong sector, and we expect that to continue throughout 2024. Andy, is this more of a distribution problem for Celsius? They need the distribution to catch up for the demand for this product. It seems like they they, they continue to up uh, their distribution channels and, and the, their product just keeps getting gobbled up. Now, yeah. there's questions about growth going forward and they can, they're, they're talking about vending machines and cafeterias and more products and distribution. And you mentioned international, that, that is one of their next uh, game plans. But is this as simple, is this as Business A101 is saying, get more product out there to satisfy demand? Yeah, it is. In fact, if you look, you know, you drill down, they're spending uh, less money. They spent 11% less on marketing year over year in Q4. Uh, they're strongly driven by word of mouth. So you're spending 11% less on marketing and seeing your revenue essentially double. Uh, that is a phenomenal uh, confluence of events. And, and it's mostly attributable to Word of mouth, you know, is very strong. Repeat buyers are very strong, but they also have a very nice strategic partnership with Pepsi, which, you know, the drink business is pretty brutal. It's all about shelf space. It's all about getting your product in front of the consumer where the consumer is. That pretty much means you have to either deal with, do a deal with a Pepsi or a Coca-Cola, or you have to take them on head on. And I think Celsius made the right call in make in doing a deal. And so, They've got the distribution that they need to, to be successful. Uh, we'll see how international expansion goes. But overall, even if they were confined to the market that they're in right now, I think that there's plenty of upside for growth because the energy drink sector as a whole is growing considerably. And Celsius just continues to take uh, market share and bring back that repeat buyer on a consistent basis because they're making people really happy with the product that they're selling. Yeah, Andy, this is a functional energy drink product, right? Uh, so it's it's about wellness, too. They throw that yeah. in there. You mentioned the partnership with Pepsi. Just like Monster Beverage has that partnership with Coke to expand their footprint, 96% of their sales were domestic here in North America. 
So international opportunity is there. You mentioned that pullback in marketing, 11%. I read that too, and I was blown away by that. Where your <laughs> That's CapEx, crazy. CapEx is actually shrinking as your margins continue to grow. But when you look at the moves in the stock, and I, I, I looked at your mentions data here, up 188% year over year, but now you're starting to see those that data kind of you know, come into into alignment with the price of the shares. Are you looking yep. at this as a more opportunity or the fact that, hey, maybe this thing needs to settle down here a little bit because we have seen that massive spike since earnings last week? You know, I, I wouldn't be too upset with some consolidation, you know, like you guys were talking about in the last segment. I think that it feels like, you know, from a, from a uh, market overall perspective and certainly Celsius might be healthy to consolidate a little bit. I think I put this on my radar as a stock or on my watch list as a stock where if I see a 10%, 12% pullback from these highs, then I start to get uh, very interested. But like you said, I think the stock has finally caught up with the reality of what's going on on Main Street. And we're going to see less exponential growth in both demand and the stock. But I still think that there's you know, that linear functional growth that can occur that is still very compelling. And so I think the hyper growth story is behind us and now we're kind of into the growth phase of this company. Um, so it's one of those that I would put, again, on a watch list, a buy on the dips type of special play uh, is, is where I put Celsius in terms of my uh, portfolio or radar. Yeah, you maybe uh, investors, traders might want to take a cue from Monster Beverage over the last yeah. maybe 15 years. That's one of the best performers out yeah. there as far as percentage gains. And every time you think thought it ramped up too much, that thing kept going <laughs> higher and higher. So yeah, maybe taking a page out of that. All right, great stuff, great data as always, Andy. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's Andy Swan, co-founder at Likefolio, breaking down Celsius data. This is post earnings, Kevin. We didn't get. We didn't get to talk about it last week. Uh, you saw that massive spike, all-time high of 88.58 just yesterday.